what's up everyone welcome back to the channel my name is Travis and welcome back to another video so today we're going to be looking at a side-by-side -side growth and coloration comparison between the Nikru Hyper Reef uh, 150s which is on the left and the Kessel AP 700 which is on the right now um, we're gonna be looking at the exact same coral which is a Jason Fox limelight hydnophora uh, this coral has been in each one of these 55 gallon low boys around approximately the same amount of par for six months so this is going to give you a really good idea of uh, the growth and coloration between the two uh, just to mention just in case you're new to the channel these uh, low boys are attached to the 300 gallon reef and attached attached to the um, 40 gallon uh, anemone tank which is all one sump so just one one big system that's all it is so there's not separate sumps or separate water parameters it's all one setup all right now, uh, elephant in the room here, as you can see, the coloration between the two lights are completely different. Now, um, I did do my best to adjust the, uh, the, the Kessels, but as you can see, there's only really two adjustments on the Nitro Hyper Reefs. We got white balance and blue. So I run at 100% blue and 25% white, which is pretty average for me. Uh, most of my lights is between 20 to 35% whites, and usually all the blue spectrum is completely maxed out because I do grow a lot of coral. And um, I like to uh, use the blue spectrum as much as possible because that's where we're going to be uh, stimulating the zooxanthellae and getting that coral growth as well as coloration. So uh, with that, the Kessel, I will put a pop-up here showing you guys my Kessel uh, settings because I don't have the availability available for you right now. So there will be a little pop-up. But I did my best to match it as best as I could. Um, and uh, yeah, this is what we got. It's, it's kind of different. A lot of you guys have brought this up. It does look completely different. And maybe that's what's playing a role in the difference of the two corals. So with that said, let's go ahead and look at these two corals. Um, I did turn off the flow so we can get a better idea. And um, I will put a picture up so you guys get a better idea because it is a little off here. This is not the spectrum I use to take pictures. When it comes to taking pictures in the tank, I change it to a little bit more white so the camera picks it up. But either way, you can see the difference here. The one on the right uh, is the AP700. The one on the left is the, uh, the Nikru Hyper Reef 150s. A lot of you guys had it mixed up. A lot of you were saying, hey, the uh, the coloration seems like it would be a little less, so that's probably probably the one on the left. That's probably the AP700, but it's not true. I will say I did get more growth from the Nikru Hyper Reef 150s. You can see that's a much bigger frag. Uh, I'm trying to do this with the gimbal here. It's a much bigger frag, and granted, these did start approximately the same size. They're pretty close. Um, so I did get a bigger, bigger frag, but at the end of the day, the coloration between the AP700 is, is just so much better. It's, it just pops. It really, really stands out. You guys will see it in the photo there. It is a night and day coloration difference. And yes, um, uh, these are the these frags. There was no mo mother colony. I know a lot of you guys ask me, is there a mother colony? There is not. So yes, these frags have been in these two tanks. Nowhere else. Haven't seen light from any other sources but these two tanks. So this is what you get after six months. And uh, they started off at just under... Um, uh, well, maybe about a half an inch. I would say probably half an inch. There were kind of some leftovers that I had from fragging a little while back. So I was like, hey, let me do a little test here. So approximately same size, a little under half inch, and on a one inch frag plug, and this is what we get in six months. Not too bad. Um, the par in here is between uh, 150 and 350, an average on both tanks. And uh, yeah, so if I was to choose, um, I would pick the Kessel. Even though the growth is just a little bit less, but that, that coloration is night and day difference, and I, I would pick that over the extra growth in the faded coloration. And that brings me to this. It makes me, it makes me reconsider a few things. I know it's going to be a little, it's going to be a little, uh, little dirty. So maybe we'll, maybe we'll get this out real quick. Get the magnet out. We'll clean it up a little bit. All right. There we go. Real time cleaner right there. So I did put a frag of this in the 300 just a few months ago. Pretty decent frag of it. Excuse me. And it's. Excuse me. Okay, so we're going to do this today. Uh, maybe I'll feed them and distract them. So we have a piece of it here as well. The thing that I'm noticing is it has the exact same coloration as the Nikru Hyper Reef 150s. And I'm like, man, it's, it's, it's 200, uh, 250 to 300 par in that range. Probably a little bit higher. Nothing too crazy. Um, because I get 250, 200 at the bottom, work my way up. So that's in the same, the same um, color range as the... Uh, the two low boys, but that color of that coral looks just like the Nikru Hyper Reef 150s. If you guys are wonder, wondering what I'm 
Blah, 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 blah. If you're wondering what I have on this tank, I have eight um, uh, night. What well, yeah, night? I have eight XR15s Gen 4 Pros. Um, I have uh, the uh, Aquatic Life fixture with a tinic, a tinic bulbs and Blue Plus, and then I have a Reef Bright strip on each side there. So this lighting is, I guess, I, I mean, I'm not going to go out and change the whole tank right now, but I will say that this coloration is just like the $150, you know, lights that we have there. But what I got on the Kessel, I mean, that that's just so different. It makes me wonder if I should change all the lighting because I do have those extra AP9Xs. I have those A360Xs. I could change out the lighting in there, you know, of course I'd keep the aqua, the uh, reef brights and keep the T5s and maybe just change the main lighting out to the Kessels. Let me know what you guys think about that. I'm willing, I'm almost willing, I don't know if I wanna do this, I'm almost willing to maybe split the tank in half, do eight, uh, four XR15s and then do two AP9Xs on the other side. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Cause you gotta remember, this is still a hobby for me and I want it to be, I want the tank to look a certain way. And if for some reason it just starts magically getting better over here and this side of the tank looks the same, which by all means isn't horrible, um, I'm gonna be kind of disappointed. So uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Maybe I will uh, switch out to the Kessels just because that coloration alone makes me wonder what this entire tank would look like if it was under Kessels. Plus I do like the shimmer look, you know, just like this, this Joker here. I know it's kind of a weird color. Um, I do like the shimmer look, but um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. I'm, I'm going to have to bounce that around for a little bit. Plus, I'd have to make some new brackets to hold the lights because I don't have the original Kessel brackets for the aqua, the aquatic light fixture. It would be a little bit of a pain, but it can be done. Let me know what you guys think. And I will say that that clear spot there looks, looks pretty good. I'm not going to lie. So with that, guys, uh, what do you guys think about the results? Um, it's pretty pretty cut and dry for me I again this is really throwing my hobby up into the air of what I want to do with lighting don't get me wrong there's nothing wrong with the night crews they grow coral I got a ton of SPS in here that are doing great coloration is fine it's for the 99% of the hobbies the people are not micromanaging their corals or not seeing the differences in lighting like that you're never gonna have any issues with that you can grow frags all day long on those lights uh, same thing with the Kessel uh, it, it works just fine. There's no issues. Um, but when you see them side by side and you want to micromanage those colors and you really want to know, I mean, can you imagine what the 300 would look like if it if it had that distinct difference in colorations, even on that one coral? I mean, how that would pop in the tank. So it's really it's really throwing my my hobby for a loop. I'll I'll, I'll give you I'll give you that. So. Let me know what you guys think. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, feel free to put that stuff in the comment section. And uh, maybe we're going Kessel. Most likely. Probably. Yeah, probably going to do it. Either way, I'll see you guys later. All right? Peace.